Hello, good afternoon everybody. Thank you for coming back to join me this afternoon. Um, I just wanted to share with you the second hardcover journal that I've just completed. Um, this is my design team project for Artie Mays and Mrs Cog. And the kit that I've used in this one from Artie Mays is Red Cardinal. And the kits that I used from Mrs Cog's are her a, a Christmas bundle one. So there's a mix of the two in here. This is a large journal. It measures nine inches tall and seven inches wide, and it has about a two and a quarter inch spine. Um, there are two signatures in here, and there's at least 130 pages uh, front and back. It has a, um, a tassel on the spine, and that is removable, and it has the, the bells in it, so you can probably hear that. And it's clipped on... Hopefully you can see that it's clipped on there so you can remove it if you want to. So this is a repurposed book um, and it's the story of the 12 days of Christmas and it's just tied together with some, some ribbon and the fabric on the spine is just some um, gold Christmas trees. So I thought that was in keeping with the partridge in the pear tree. It is quite chunky as I say. Um, Hopefully you can see that, lots of tabs and things. Okay, so on the inside, hopefully this is going to fit all on screen because it is, as I say, it is a large book, so I think you can see that. So on the inside, as I say, the kit that I've used um, from Artie Mays is the Red Cardinal, um, and these are papers from that. So I've put some card covering the inside book cover and that is an image, the, one of the papers from the kit. And I've used the um, green Christmas tree, it's not paper, fabric, just there to make a pocket. And I've included an extra journaling space here. So this just opens up. It says a joyous Christmas down there. And so it opens out. And there's a, a tuck spot just there in the, on the side. And there's a little tuck spot just there. And this is one of the word cards from Mrs Cog. And it's got some more journaling space on the inside there. And then there's just a pocket there. And I've included a couple of the extra tags that I had left over. So as I say, that is just some extra journaling space. Not that this journal needs it, I have to say. Um, this image is one um, from Miss uh, Artie Mazer's um, Christmas ephemera set. And I've just layered that with some tinsel fabric. I don't know what they're called, like a glittery um, net fabric there then there's a tuck spot just here and again the word cards and a couple of the images from the Christmas bundle and this is one of the this is out the original book so the book is intact the story is complete in here um, but because it had a purple lining I didn't want to keep that as the lining of the um, inside of the book so but I wanted to keep this one it's, this book belongs to, so it's just makes a nice large tag in there. I think this page is actually from um, Old Design Shop. And then on, on the back there, a little card, and it says, It is Christmas in the heart that puts Christmas in the air. And that's a quote from W.T. Ellis. And there's a journaling card just there. And then this book belongs to from Artie Mays in the back there. Digital stamp there. And that's um, from Mrs Cog as well. I think that's from her um, magazine um, course. So some stenciling. Love the papers with the red cardinal. There's a doily there. And then the first of the 12 days of Christmas just there. Some stenciling again. And then I've included a little booklet and I've put some little bells on it there. So there's a little booklet with some extra journaling space that just hooks over the page. And that stamp says, uh, stencil says, Dear Santa. The tag, it um, goes through to the other side as well, so it's a large tag. And then there's one of the postcards then there from Artie Mays. And I've put a, um, I'll say a vintage stamp. Uh, it's a 15 and a half P. It's a British stamp. 
I'm guessing it's probably from 70s or 80s, maybe. And then I've left the back of that plain so that it, there's plenty of room there that you can put um, an image of your own on there if you wanted to. And that just says Christmas Eve. Again, one of the um, CD envelopes just there. And this image actually is one from Mrs. Cog. It just fitted perfectly inside the CD. And then there's a tuck spot behind it. And it is actually, you can put something in the pocket there if you wanted to, but I just didn't want to cover that image up. So I've put that image of Santa having a rest there, putting his feet up, and then the children. And then I've just put this, um, glued this ribbon on there so that it's a bit like a parcel. And there's the first on the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. And the second day of Christmas, and again, the um, altered envelopes that I like to do with the window peeping through. Um, and I've just put a little trim up there with one of the little wooden gingerbread men beads that I've got. Bead button and some pom-pom trim. And then of course you can write on here with an image there of Santa. And again, the cardinal rose. Cardinal rose, the cardinal and the rose is what I meant to say. And a large tag there and then a couple of images as well and as I say all all of these images are from the Christmas bundle from Mrs Cog. Uh, book page there, little tuck spot there, that's Scrooge I think, and there's a little snowman there and a couple of buttons and then this page is a, this flips out, this music page So there's music pages on both sides. So you can still write on there and you can still sing if you want to. And then I've done a little tuck spot there with the large Santa Claus tag. So I've stick, sticked, sticked it on, stuck it on. And then the envelope, I've just put some little... These are um, Artie Mazer's postcards that I shrank down. I think I did four sheets to a page so that it shrank them down nicely. And then the words again from Mrs Cog, so the Nutcracker and the North Pole and then there's just inside there it's just a card to journal on and that just again um, one of my stamps and that's 3p oh 1973 I can read on that one so I thought they were probably from the 70s they're not really vintage but quite old that says love the giver more than the gift so there's a couple of things in there so a journaling card in there and then went one of Artie Mazer's um, jars that's printed on the inside but you can still write on this paper so there's still plenty of room and that just unties there he is on the third day of Christmas he's bringing her three French hens and two turtle doves um, the centre of the signature there is oh, some Edith Holden So she's getting surrounded now, look, by all the presents. And that says, tis the season to sparkle. And again, just a couple of journaling cards tucked in there. So you can fit more in these bags if you want to, but this it was getting quite a chunky journal, so I, I didn't add any more to it. And that just says Merry Christmas there. There's a little tuck spot there with a Santa tag in. back of the book page and then one of the file folders that comes with the kit and I've just put some of this um, glitter netting on there with another of the gingerbread men and a couple of the images there from the Christmas bundle and one of the cards from the kit that goes inside the file folder and then again one of the um, doily little journal spots there so I think as I said on my previous video I think that was from treasure books and the idea from paper, uh, paper pixie had it in her journal but I think it was from treasure books I think that just sits nicely on there
So uh, some ribbon there and a partridge in a pear tree. And then just some more journaling space. So as you can see, this one will keep you going for quite a while, I think. So although there's around 130 pages, there's so much extra journaling space. I, I obviously didn't count that in the count. And the, the cards there. And these pages, you can write on them if you want to, or if you want to put a, a picture on them. And again, this I included one of these in my previous one as well. Winter Wonderland. So it has the four tucks there. And they just all sit there nicely. On the back of the doily. And again, the cardinal and the rose. I do like that image actually. Santa. Again, one of the images from the Christmas bundle. And then the uh, pages here, obviously, from the book on the seventh day of Christmas. Some, just some ribbon trim there. The double pockets, and on those I've put these on. A corner tuck just there. Dear Santa, I can explain. And there's the children talking to Santa. And that's <laughs> probably so true of a lot of children <laughs> around Christmas. And then this is from the... Um, I'm not sure if Artie Mays is... If that's one of her freebies on her website. And doily. And then there's just clipped a... Um, journaling card on there and then the back of it is a removable float floating pocket and that says let it snow that just clips on there and again another of the little booklets that just sits over the page with the extra the extra journaling space in that just sits over the page so obviously you can use them wherever and you would never lose it with those with the bells on another of the digital images just there another of the file folder pockets with a card in the front and then behind it another large journaling card the back of the pack Bag, bag and that says Christmas memories and there's just a couple of extra journaling cards in there book page there tuck spot and again the large tag I apologize if you can hear my dog bark thank the postman's just knocked on the door so apologies you've probably heard a barking love this page with the holly on there's a tuck spot there so that's a an envelope got it upside down apologies there we go so an envelope there again with a little tuck spot christmas tree and i think this paper is from um antique papery but um, I, I wanted to use it because of the red cardinal on it it's just a little angle on there and then again large card um, again the altered pocket uh, pocket the altered envelope just there and there's a little tuck spot there this is part of a Christmas card I had I'm looking through to that bird and then the back of it and the center again is Edith Holden and then in the back of that envelope, I've just put some extra journaling paper in there. And that can be removed if you wanted to. And then one of the, I think that's one of Roxy's doilies there. 
just with an Edith Holden page on there. Tucked in. Again, one of the little tuck spots. And then the large card again. I love these images. On the back of that double tag with the postcard. And again, one of the stamps, and I'm guessing that, there are, again, it's the 70s, but I, I'm sorry, I can't see the date on it. Another tuck spot just there. On the back of the bag there. I think these images are from... Um, one from one of Artie Mays' Christmas kits. I don't think it's the um, Cardinal Rose one. I can't remember which one they're from, but I had them spare from last year. Again, one of the um, Tim Holtz little pockets there. And I've put the quotes in there from Mrs. Cog, so you can have a look at those. And some of the tickets that I had left over. This kit from Artie Mays, it is so big, there's things in it that I've still not used. Put them in another journal, I think. And the tag that slips down in the back there. Sorry, I'm at a funny angle. And then that again has a, a pull out on there. And just a little cluster there. Getting near the back now, and again, one more of the um, pull out pages there. I hope you can see that. That just folds nicely there. And then on the back of that is another of the envelopes with some more of the quote cards in there. And I've left that envelope empty. tuck spot in here. This is a, a vintage um, postcard that I had and it's actually dated 1917 and it's to Edith. No stamp on it actually. The journaling card there. Now we have the twelfth day of Christmas. Another tuck spot. It says gold and silver. The back of the um, paper there. I'm sure that's um, from the old design shop. I'll check. Two more of the quotes on there, and then this was the back page of the actual book where. On the twelfth day of Christmas, she said everything that she's getting, and there's, I think they're all on there. I just cut it down and made it into a journaling card. It seemed a shame not to include it, but it just didn't fit. It was an odd page on its own at the end. Then in the back again, there's another of the fabric pockets just there, and then on the inside, there's another of the postcards, and then there's the journaling card there as well. So that is my rather large 12 Days of Christmas journal. Um, I do hope that you like it. It is heavy. It, it weighs in at, I mean, postage wise, I, uh, gosh, it's, it weighs in at about over 800 grams. So it's going to be kind of up to a kilo um, parcel, I'm guessing. So it is quite a weighty journal, but it, it's very usable. So I do hope that you enjoy it. Um, and I'd like to thank you very much for looking. Um, and the next ones that I make are going to be smaller and soft covered. But thank you so much for coming and taking a peek. Thank you. Bye bye.